Hi friends, welcome back to our tutorials. This is Angular with Bootstrap full tutorial series. We are still focusing on learning to build bootstrap layouts. This is part four of it. If you haven't checked out the previous series episodes on this, please do check it out since we are building a live application and it's helpful if you refer to any of the previous episodes so that you can you have the continuity of building an application. So let's get started. So like I say, um, I'm putting in a lot of hard work in putting these tutorials together. So please do support me by subscribing and liking my videos. And if you have any doubts, just ask me in the comment section below. I'll be happy to help you for free. So we have learned in previous episodes, we are building using container, bootstrap grid, and margin, padding, and all the utility classes. So let's continue. So far we have built till here. We have a header, we have a single column layout, and one footer. To show you what the output looks like so far, it looks like this. We have a header, we have the content area, we have the footer area, the below. So now we are going to modify this screen and make it a two column layout with footer, right? So till now we have only one content area. Now we are going to make it a two column and also make it a fluid layout, right? So let's learn all about that. So this is our layout. We have header, footer, and content. Now let's open content. I have put a container. So the first thing we'll do is make it container fluid. So when you say container fluid, it will occupy 100% of the width. So see now this content is entirely occupying the 100% of it. And the style that we applied was only for container, right? So that's why it, so now I'm going to remove this, just retain, the border and I'm going to add the class name container fluid. Right, so now we have a border, but it doesn't look good. So I'm going to get rid of this. Now it doesn't have anything. And we just have a simple container fluid with a row. Now we will use bootstrap grid to design our two column layout. So we will have one row and two columns. So what we'll do is we'll have div class equal to column three call three that means it should occupy three column this is sidebar and then i'm going to add div class equal to column nine because like i told you all of the all of the bootstrap grid works on 12 column so it should add up to 12 9 plus 3 is 12 you can have 2 you can have 10 it's fine you can have 8 you can have 4 this is also fine but usually it would be three and nine, right? Now let's see the output. So now we see we have one sidebar, one main content, right? So let's jazz this up a little bit. So what I'm going to do is throw in some content uh, and then put some borders. So let's put that. I'm going to give a name. I'm going to call this main content and I'm going to call this sidebar, right? Nothing fancy. But if we want to start using, we can build some layout like this. So I'm just, this is one of the site that I was building. So I'm just going to take the style from there so that it's readily available for us and go back to our content component and put it to main content, throwing in just some CSS background color, margin, box shadow, nothing fancy, just simple things. Now let's go and see the output. So you see our content area is looking like this. So let's style this up a little bit more. And so what I'm going to do instead is just call this to main entire content container fluid. So now you see, so we will throw in some body style inside the app component. I'm going to put some background. And make it maybe a little bit. All right. This is so far so good. Now we have our content. We, we have our container fluid to which we have given some background if you see here light uh, I'm going to 
put some dark color so that way it's visible to us and inside app component.ts uh, let's put background bbb little darker shade okay oh sorry uh, the body should go in the style.css style.scss these are the global styles so i'm going to put it to the body okay so far so good now let's go here to our content now you see we have our two now i don't so basically this is a two column structure now header sidebar main content and footer so we have our header we have our sidebar we have our main content and we have our footer so i'm going to slightly reduce the shades and use better colors so for footer i'm going to remove the color here instead i'm going to throw in a color here and i'll say for footer we will use background color as ddd now you see so this is our ddd color this is our sidebar this is our main content so this is our main uh, let's see why the body is not coming up style.css body tag i have put the background hyphen color yes all right let's see we can quickly inspect that and see why okay it says some okay bootstrap javascript should be required okay that's not a problem um, instead i think what we will do is we will cut it here my bad just give me a minute so in the app component we have our wrapper so we don't have any wrapper that's why it's uh, injecting into it but instead we can definitely add into component.css okay so i'll fix up that issue uh, in the meanwhile now you understood how to create a layout site framework which is header sidebar main content and footer links in the next tutorial we are going to add navbar to this header as well as create a three column layout using the grid so keep stay tuned to the tutorials uh, keep watching we are bringing in three column layout in the next episode along with some of the fixes to the body background thank you so much for joining i'll see you in the next episode as always please ask me if you have any doubts i'll be happy to help you for free please do not forget to subscribe to my channel thank you so much